Good afternoon. I don't know why I just panned up for some reason. I obviously am not ready to start the day yet, even though it's 2 o'clock in the afternoon. About five hours and counting until the red carpet for the Golden Globes, which I still haven't heard from AJ yet, so I don't know what's going on with that. I have a feeling he'll probably get a hold of me in the next couple of hours, if he doesn't before then. Um, information today, and it's official, September is now booked, 100%. I called my travel agent, Stephanie Hudson, from MEI and Mouse Fan Travel, props to them, and I booked for September, and I saved myself over $700 by doing what I did. Now, there is a package right from the 26th to October 1st, which gives me three extra days, which is awesome. So, I added an extra day. I made it to the 25th through the 1st, so that's good. And that only cost me a little bit under $550. Which is amazing, to be totally honest, because I'm going to use my DVC points and I'm booking the Animal Kingdom Lodge in Jumbo House for the first half of my trip. That way I save so much money and it's looking more and more likely like I won't be alone in September and I'm pretty positive as of this very moment I won't be alone in September. Will will go with me in December. And come next September, it looks like I'm taking my dad and my stepmom with me when I go home. So that's going to be really interesting to see how that works. And I'm really also hoping in the near future that I get to go back to Art of Animation. Yeah, I just got another Twitter post. Actually, I just saw it. It just came across the screen, actually, that I just got tweeted by, uh, retweeted something I said earlier today. A really funny quote that I just posted on Twitter um, that I totally stole from the Main Street Mouse, but that's alright because it's really funny and it's something I would say and would have came up with, so it's pretty cool. But that's good to go. It's completely good to go. Now we wait for Reunion 2013 to be announced. And once the Reunion is announced, more Twitter. Oh, if you haven't noticed, and you probably can't hear, the Miz theme is my ringtone and uh, if you hear Dolph Ziggler's entrance theme my phone is going off so uh, a little food for thought if you hear any background noise here during this video but so that's taken care of now about 90% sure that I'm going to be with someone for September and I'm about 75-80% sure that Will's coming with me for reunion this year but Another thing I'm also sure about, I'm going to return to SeaWorld. Yes, I made up my mind. Going to go back to SeaWorld. Going to do Antarctica. Need to do Kraken and, of course, Journey to Atlantis. And I really want to ride Mana again because Mana is pretty awesome. Plus, I'm hoping that I can get in for Spooktacular. I'd really like to be able to do that, but I don't think the dates will line up, even though it is later in the month that I'm actually going. But we'll see what happens. Which also means that the fun card will allow me access to December, so this time I'm going to go down for the Christmas events because I really want to see the Christmas stuff. So I actually want to be there for the Christmas shows, which I did not get to experience last year. And I also want to be able to do Mannheim Steamroller at Universal Studios. So right now I'm planning on maybe two days at Universal in September. Oh, sorry, December. And a day at SeaWorld and the rest of the days in the parks. And of course the four days for Reunion and coming back the last day, which is the Sunday, flying out that afternoon. Now, as of right now, reunion dates aren't announced. Now, Matt did uh, say something on the last live podcast last month that there is a possibility that if you pay attention to the dates and the way that they go normally, you can figure out yourself when the reunion dates are. And it sounds to me, now I don't know anything more than this, this is just purely speculation, Reunion will be December 5th to the 8th. And if that's the case, then my dates line up perfectly. And Will and I will either be staying at Boardwalk, which is a very good possibility, maybe the Wilderness Lodge, or maybe a split stay at Boardwalk, Wilderness Lodge, and possibly Bay Lake Tower, because I really want to stay at all of those. Because as of right now, I am staying at Jabo House at Animal Kingdom Lodge 
for September, and that's going to be awesome because I've never stayed there before, and that's going to be really cool, and I'm really excited about that. And soon I'll be staying at the Beach Club, Saratoga Springs, Old Key West. I'm going to take full advantage of this DVC membership that I spent so much money on. But in the long run, it's going to help out. And depending on what happens the rest of this year is going to depend on if I keep my annual pass the way it is or I drop it down to get rid of the water parks and more that I basically, it's basically what it is. I wouldn't need the water parks anymore. I wouldn't need Disney Quest any longer. I don't golf unless it's mini rise and I still get discounts on that so it's not a big deal. The only way I think I would keep at this moment and not downsize to a regular annual pass would be if Pleasure Island reopens in one way or another and it brings back my comedy warehouse. But we'll see how that happens and I'm begging you Disney like I said before I really want to see earlier dates for the holiday special in 2013. That way there's a possibility I actually might be able to make it and something tells me that if I'm not Maybe dates will change. It's possible. Maybe I might change my dates a little bit if they're, if it affords me a way to go to the Comedy Warehouse. We'll find out, but I'm pretty sure my dates are pretty secure. So, I'm going to do my first DVC property, and I need to get that booked probably sometime next month. When the window is open, I'm going to do that. I need to get with my traveling companion very soon and find out what they want to do. Find out where they want to stay where they want to stay, see if Animal Kingdom Lodge will work for them. But we're not going to be staying in the room much anyway, just to sleep and swim. And there's a couple things I like to do. Maybe this sunrise, is it sun, sunrise? No, it's a sunset safari. Something you only can do if you stay at AKL. And I'm looking forward to that. That's going to be awesome. Plus, I really am excited about going back to Universal. I don't like Transformers, as anyone well knows, but I'm very curious to see how Transformers is going to be done. And Energon, Energon, whatever you want to call it, I'll learn the pronunciation someday. I'm really excited about being able to try that. And maybe a chocolate cube. It just depends on what actually comes over with Transformers. It's going to be nice to be able to go to our brand new location. It's going to be awesome to be able to get all this paid off soon. And then maybe I can start paying off my monumentous credit card bill from uh, December. But I will say one thing. There hopefully might be a possibility of reunion at sea in the next couple of years. Keep my fingers crossed on that one. I don't know anything more than it'd just be awesome if it actually happens. And Lynn likes to cruise now. And I talked to a lot of people who were at Union that said it'd be a good idea. So I think reunion at sea may happen somewhere down the road. If it does, I have, of course, a 10% discount, a stateroom credit on the Disney Cruise Line and on the Dream right now that I can easily switch over to a different day in case they end up doing Reunion at Sea. And if that's the case, then I'm already one step ahead of everyone else. And that, as well, is awesome. Now, the Globes are tonight. I'm hoping this is Argo's night. It needs, it should be. I'd like to see that happen. Would be nice to see Django win some things tonight. That'd be pretty cool. Because the Globes really like Django with all of its nominations. So I think it may be possible it actually might win some things. And uh, for those of you that are in the listening area, or those of you that are in a small town, Silver Linings Playbook goes wide this coming Friday. So, there is a good possibility when everybody else is watching Broken City, or Mama, or The Last Stand, Silver Linings Playbook will be an option for everyone to watch, as I see Zero Dark Thirty did take home the box office this weekend. Interesting, very interesting. And of course it moved up at Regal, just like I said it would. It opened a smaller theater, opened in Theater 4, moved up to Theater number 2. And apparently Dolph Ziggler is going to cut this a little short, so uh, I'm going to talk to AJ now, and I will see you guys in the morning. And that's all i got to say about that.